Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the annual Galleon Awards Ceremony. The Galleon Foundation fosters, recognizes, and rewards excellence in scientific innovation to improve the human condition. André Malraux said once in one of his novels, Une vie humaine ne vaut rien, mais rien ne vaut une vie humaine. Human life is worth nothing, but nothing is worth a human life. All these men and women are trying to save human lives. Is there anything more noble than that? Around the globe, the Prix Galleon is considered as the equivalent of the Nobel Prize for the industry mobilizing an unrivaled network of Nobel laureates and top biomedical scientists. The Galleon Foundation manages an independent, cross-functional, and geographically diverse program of events and sponsorship to brand the best of the best in new medicines and diagnostics. The Prix Galleon is a welcome initiative to stimulate creative research and promote excellence. Barack Obama. The Galleon Awards Ceremony is considered the equivalent of the Oscars night for the innovators in the labs and awards every year the best pharmaceutical product, the best biotechnology product, the best medical technology, and the best digital health product. The Roy Vagelos Pro Bono Humanum Award for Global Health Equity is bestowed to an individual, a company, an academic institution or a non-governmental agency that has helped to improve the human condition through the application of biopharmaceutical science to problems of developing or underserved populations worldwide. This is the right event on the right issue at the right time. I thank His Excellency, the President for bringing Prix Galleon to Africa and I look forward to the day when we will celebrate an African winner of the Prix Galleon. I'm particularly grateful to receive this award. The awards are among the highest honors in science and commerce because they lead to improvement in the human condition. The Prix Galleon Awards recognize the world's brightest minds and most innovative companies. They are a true celebration of the hard work required to produce life-changing interventions. That is what makes us optimistic about the future. Congratulations to all of you. Make a difference. Join the Galleon Foundation. As scientists, we live on the very edge between what is known and what is yet to be known, standing on the shoulders of giants to peer over the horizon, healing doubts as well as diseases. In the last 50 years alone, we've seen miracle babies who now have babies of their own, who may grow up never hearing the words smallpox, polio, measles, and live decades longer than their grandparents. Why? Because science. We witnessed a whole new body of medical advances that came from inside the human body itself. Because science. Heartbreaking quilts stopped being made. Artificial hearts started beating. SARS was contained and controlled. Whatever challenges humanity faces in the years ahead, the last 50 years shows us that we can prevail. And even diseases like COVID-19 will one day yield. Why? Because science. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome our Master of Ceremonies, Professor Richard Axel, Nobel Laureate, Co-Director, Kavli Institute for Brain Science, Columbia University Medical Center, pre galleon USA Committee Member.
Good evening. On behalf of the Gallien Foundation's Award Committee, it is a pleasure and an honor to welcome you this evening to this evening's presentation of the 2021 Roy Vagelos Pro Bono Humanum Award for Global Health Equity. Tonight, as we merge, emerge from a deeply troubling plague, from a pandemic of proportions we have not experienced in our lives, we celebrate the recipients for their triumphant success in the prevention and control of COVID-19 infection. Along with the six honorees, distinguished leaders in pharma and biotechnology, I'm pleased to have my friend and colleague, Dr. Roy Vagelos, with us tonight. Roy. Roy was the first recipient of this award in 2007. His deeply human efforts to expand global access to life-saving drugs led our committee to name this award in recognition of his service to humanity, the Roy Vagelos Pro Bono Humanum Award. It is a special pleasure to me to host this evening's events celebrating medical in innovation. For although I am a medical doctor, I have never practiced medicine, not for a single moment. In medical school, my clinical incompetence was so rapidly recognized <laughs> that I was summoned by the dean and offered an MD if and only if I promised never ever to practice medicine <laughs> to practice medicine on live patients. <laughs> I kept my promise, and I returned to Columbia as an intern in pathology where I performed only autopsies. <laughs> After a year, I was summoned by the chairman of pathology who agreed to certify me in pathology if I agreed never ever to practice medicine on dead patients. <laughs> and so, I entered science by default, and I'm pers uh, personally very honored to be here to recognize your contributions to medicine tonight. Indeed, it is, a mag it is mag a magnif magnificent to again dine and greet each other in person. When we last met at this historic New York landmark in October 2019, we did not anticipate the responsibility imposed upon pharma and biotech by a global pandemic, a scourge that has taken 5 million lives, more than 700,000 here in, uh, in the US, with my city, New York, as its epicenter. This deeply troubling pandemic recalls to me Albert Camus' novel, The Plague. Camus' existential novel tells the story of how a sole doctor, Rieu, and his staff find solidarity in an Algerian city swept by a devastating plague. Rombert, a journalist, asks Rieu, how a doctor can deal with pestilence and death of this magnitude. Dr. Rieu replies, there is no question of heroism in all of this. The only means of fighting a plague is with decency, common human decency. Now common human decency can take many forms. The delivery of 6.5 billion doses of a life-saving vaccine into the arms of a fearful populace by the individuals honored tonight reflects their passionate commitment to the human situation. This is decency. There is also the decency inherent in the commitment to science. 
what we observe through this pandemic is that science as a discipline in times of human need is capable of inspiring a sense of communal responsibility. We observe the perhaps unanticipated but intimate collaboration between the academy, between science and the corporate world. Together, they revealed that they could rapidly solve with remarkable creativity and tenacity, a problem thrust upon them by civilization. Finally, there is the decency inherent in human equality. Equality is not a biological issue. It is social, cultural, and political. Here, decency has been more difficult to realize. The inability to see beyond the boundaries of our nations and our cultures will inevitably lead to inequity and social injustice. When we learn to see the world through a multiplicity of eyes, we will be more able to integrate and, mas and master the complexities of our world. Tonight, we celebrate the su successful collaboration between Pharma and the Academy. You have impacted billions and saved millions of lives. Ironically, biology, the scientific world you mastered to control a pandemic, seems either continually under attack or disbelieved. While we as scientists exult in the glory of knowledge, the reaction of too many people is often to cower to the threat of this understanding. This has led to a sense that the acquisition of knowledge in biology is a transgression, that science must be curtailed, and if not curtailed, disbelieved. This denial of science is unfortunately apparent in the refusal by so many to accept the overwhelming scientific support for the efficacy of your vaccines. But the future can wait until tomorrow. For tonight, we celebrate the remarkable accomplishments of six scientific leaders that follow different paths to the same destination, to diminish the spread and slow the progression of COVID-19. Decades of elegant thought and experiments along with perseverance led to the development of stable mRNAs that direct an effective immune response against COVID. The approval of two vaccines in less than a year is an almost unthinkable ambition and a remarkable accomplishment. This success was accompanied by two DNA vaccines that afford advantages, thermostability and cost. To this, we add effective therapeutic interventions to diminish the severity of illness monoclonal antibodies against the COVID spike, a potent, fast-acting protein that slows progression. This remarkable success, for which the world is grateful, relied upon a co cooperation between basic research and the amazing technologic developments of today's globally integrated pharmaceutical enterprise. The success of these six leaders has led to the pursuit of analogous technologies which will go beyond the control of emerging COVID variants. Their versatility may now provide therapeutic proteins for a diverse array of illnesses beyond infection, including genetic disorders, cancer, and autoimmune disease. Your remarkable success 
has saved numbers of lives from COVID-19 and promises to revolutionize future therapy and future medicine. Thank you for your profound contributions to human health. Let me now proceed with the formal award citation and the presentation of the signature Prigalien Gold Medallion. We will then have an opportunity to hear from our recipients. Appropriately, Roy Vagelos himself will present the Vagelos Pro Bono Humanum Award for Global Health Equity. Roy is a dear and respected friend who has moved with grace from the pinnacles of academia to industry and back. The humanity and philanthropy exhibited by Diana and Roy is so deeply appreciated. An ancestor of Roy's, the Greek orator Pericles, <laughs> said, that, said that man's contribution is not what is engraved in stone monuments, but what is woven into the lives of others. Roy and Diana, you have woven much into my life and the lives of all of us, and we thank you. And now, it is my honor to introduce Dr. Roy Vagelos to join me on the stage to bestow tonight's awards.